Assalamu alaikum, good morning, subah bukhair, guten morgen from Dryer, which is the other edge of the Mosel Valley and also the oldest city in Germany. So it has a lot of historical buildings that date back to the Roman times. It is also the fifth day of the trip and I'm kind of tired and I also messed up my foot yesterday uh, during the hike. But a good thing that I just found out that is a lot of the historical buildings and everything are very very close to the city center and I'm staying at the city center so it will be really quick and I can explore all of these buildings. The largest Roman city gate still very well preserved is Porta Nigra. Standing in the center of Trier, built in 170 AD, making this architectural marvel a real historical gem. There is a 6 euro ticket for visiting the inside of the gate going up to the top for views and everything. The fact that all of these buildings have survived two, two three thousand years is really cool. One of the buildings that I really want to visit is the amphitheater, where all of these medieval gladiators used to fight animals and put up a show. If you have kids or if you're a big kid like me, you can't miss the toy museum in the center of the city. Everything about this place is incredible. It's like a child's dream come true. I could honestly spend hours and hours in there, which I probably did, but no one wants to see that so we will keep it short. Now I understand why do people have this addiction of train models. I <laughs> mean, look at this thing. It's crazy. And one of the most important places in Trier is the Rhinist Blendes Museum. It is one of the most significant archaeological museums in Germany. So there are basically two sections. One is the regular 
and the other is the fall of empire which is above and this is the regular one which has different artifacts from the Roman time. The collection covers 200,000 years of history from the Stone Age, the Romans and Franconians to the Baroque period with over 4,000 objects here to tell the story of the region. Looking at the massive relics and the colossal monuments from Roman ages displaying the elite standards of art and beauty is enough to give us an idea of how glorious and magnificent the Roman Empire must have been during their reign. The collection is more focused on the Roman period as Trier and the surrounding region acquired their greatest significance during this era. We also have statues of the first Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus and also a few of Lord Voldemort. Augusta Trevororum was a Roman city on the Moselle from which today's Trier emerged. There are smaller replicas and models in the museum that help us get a better idea about the scale of the original city in its former glory. So a lot of people were approaching me and asking me for stuff in the museum and now I realize why. I have this Allianz t-shirt and the MST band. I look like a tour guide <laughs> or maybe I worked at the museum and people were approaching me and I said I don't know German and they looked at me with sheer disappointment. <laughs> Baths can still be visited, the underground network of passages that was used by the workers to get to different points is still pretty well preserved. With all that glory and might, it is no surprise that the royalty from the Roman times liked to live in layer and style. One look at the monumental beauty of the Imperial Baths window arcades is enough to tell you that those who once lay in the hot water pools here sure knew how to live. Crashing onto my skull My feet on the ground But it feels like a fall When I don't fall alone All the love songs All the love songs are wrong All the love songs all the love songs are wrong All the love songs All the love songs are wrong There are so many places in Tyre, especially with the old Roman history and everything that but also they're very close to each other so you can visit all of them in one day which is really cool.
This concludes the fifth and the last day of my trip along the Moselle Valley. I came here with no idea about the place, no plans, no itinerary, just the names of a few places. Yet it has been such an amazing journey so far. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I'll see you in the next video with a new story and a new journey. Until then, take care, keep exploring and peace.